Well, Richard Branson, thank you so much for your time. Why have you decided to extend your gyms here to Australia? Well, I don't know if you've, if you've been to a gym in Australia, um, but there, there are many faults, I think, about them. Um, they, you know, the quality of the, system, of the equipment is very old. Um, they have uh, little life to them, I think. Um, uh, it's very difficult to leave them if you, if you sign up to them. You, you could tie it into sort of long-term contracts. Um, and so Virgin likes to uh, move into countries where, um, you know, where, where we feel we can bring some, a, a uni a, our unique approach to setting up a business. And, and uh, Australia was the place where we felt um, it, it dearly needed really good quality new gyms. So you'll be taking your fight to establish companies like Fitness First, but part of their advantage is that they actually have gyms right across Australia. How do you intend to counter that? Uh, we intend to counter it by building a lot of gyms. So, um, you know, we've, we've opened our first gym in Sydney. Um, we've had th uh, thousands of people join. Uh, we're going to be opening our second gym in Melbourne. Um, people will be able to, you know, use their membership in, in either gym. Um, but over the next few years, we'll be opening you know, 20, 30, 40 gyms. Um, and I think that, you know, when people actually go to the gyms, uh, they will, um, you know, th and, and, and see them, I think we'll have them hooked. Okay, but just on that, there are reports a lot of gyms across the country are in trouble at the moment. Will you be looking at buying out other businesses to extend yours? Uh, we're not a great believer in taking over other companies. We, we, we much rather start from scratch. I mean, we, you know, we'll come into Melbourne, we'll look for, um, uh, Four, at least 4,000 square metres, so we can, make, we can make sure it's the biggest gym in town. You know, we can have the best quality swimming pools, the best quality saunas, the best quality massage areas, the um, uh, best quality kids' areas, etc., etc. And, um, and, and, and by starting from scratch, we can make sure we get every, every little detail right. Um, it's also a good time to build new gyms because uh, you've got landlords who've got um, proper, property that's just sitting there empty. Um, and they would like to encourage a brand like Virgin to come in and take it. So Richard, there was a time when your smaller businesses were part of a branding exercise to try and get passengers onto your airlines. Has that turned around over the past few years that the businesses actually are doing well? Uh, yes, I mean I think the, the brand, you know, the Virgin brand is, is one of the better known uh, global brands. I think that, um, you know, we, we are expanding in most of our companies rather than contracting in, in a time of recession. Um, obviously there are exceptions to that, but for instance, you know, in Australia, this Friday, uh, we, we launch um, a brand new airline, V Australia, which will fly to you know, seven destinations from Australia. Um, we'll be starting with you know, uh, Sydney to Los Angeles, then Melbourne to Los Angeles, then Brisbane to Los Angeles, um, and then uh, Los Angeles to Johannesburg, and there will be other routes to follow. Um, and it's um, you know we picked up the new the new plane um, from Boeing a week ago, and it's beautiful. So we we think we think that could turn into a very successful business. So Richard, over the past few weeks, we've seen a lot said and written about your Formula One ambitions. When will we see a Virgin Honda team competing at the Melbourne Grand Prix? Um, well, I've heard rumour that we may be talking to Honda. Uh, nothing's been confirmed. Um, well, here's your chance. Can you confirm that now? Um, uh, I, I'm afraid that if we were in talks, we wouldn't be allowed to talk about them. Um, but um, I am keen that Virgin gets into Formula One. It's a fun sport. Um, but uh, we've made it clear to Bernie Eccleston that if we are to get involved, um, we want Formula One to be turned into a sport which is uh, pioneering green energy. Uh, we think all that money spent on the cars and and um, uh, ought, 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 to, ought, ought to be clean. Um, and we've also said that we want the cost to running Formula One teams to be economically viable. They haven't been in the past, and I think uh, in, in these days they should be. Otherwise, it's, it, it, I think it looks bad uh, for companies to be spending you know, tens of millions of pounds or dollars on, on um, teams uh, you know, and, um, and in a, at a time of great recession when the money could be better spent. Airlines in Asia are bucking the trend at the moment. They're profitable. Why have you decided to take V Australia to the United States and not instead from the east coast of Australia to Asia? So many Qantas executives are scratching their head. They're telling us they don't understand why you made this decision. Is it because your hands are tied behind your back by your half-share partner in Virgin Atlantic, which is Singapore Airways? 
But I, I'm not necessarily going to take advice from Qantas as to where we should be flying. Um, they, I'm sure they would like us not to be taking them on on uh, on, on on the American routes. Uh, they've had they've made a lot of money out of America for a long time. I'm sure they would would rather we didn't take them on on the um, uh, African routes where they made a lot of money for a long time. Uh, Asian routes. Uh, because of the uh, the slump, uh, and are actually not doing that well, I believe, for Qantas right now. Um, but if they'd like to give me their figures, and if we find that they're doing really well on the Asian routes, we'd be very happy to start fly flying there very soon as well. Um, no, we, we're, we're allowed to fly anywhere we want, and um, one day I'm absolutely certain that we will be, you know, flying to China and uh, and, and other and other Asian routes. Um, but. Um, uh, but um, we'd love, we'd, 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 we'd love to see Qantas's figures and see whether it makes sense. <laughs> there are still delays getting the A380 aircraft to companies like Virgin Atlantic. Given the overcapacity of the market at the moment right around the world, do you still want to go ahead with that purchase to buy the A380s? Well, we're not getting an A380 for about three more years, and we think that may be about the right time to get it once, hopefully. We've, we've all worked very hard and we've managed to get you know, get that recession behind us. Um, in the meantime, we, we're flying very fuel efficient, brand new 777s, which we think is a absolutely the right plane for uh, the, the uh, Trans-Pacific. Virgin Blue stock price must be within reach at the moment. Would you consider boosting your stock, bringing Virgin Blue back into your fold? <laughs> um, it, is, it is cheap, um, as, is, as, as, in, as is most uh, airline stocks around the world. Um, uh, but uh, if, if we were interested in doing something with it, I wouldn't be able to comment one way or the other anyway. Um, but, um, you know, we, we are the largest shareholder of Virgin Blue. We're happy, we're happy being the largest shareholder and, um, and um, you know, we think it has a good future. The other area Virgin does well with at the moment in the UK is subscription television and media services. Would you consider bringing subscription television, extending the business here to Australia anytime soon? I'm sure your bosses at Sky will be so pleased that you should suggest that. <laughs> and we'll come in, yes, we'll come in and compete with Sky in Australia. We've got no, we've got no plans to at the moment. Um, but we'd certainly never say never, as you know.